a year ago, uh, I've established and launched a educational theater, a mobile educational theater uh, workshop for kids, for teens. Uh, this group is called Theater Zone. The culture of theater play in Davao is, was, is really dying. Parang ganun. Kaya I have decided to like venture, engage into it. So I established, I launched a theater zone group. Mas ano siya, mas malaking responsibility if you're teaching the kids. Because you are shaping the kids na maging, mag, maging okay siya, na pagdating niya ng ganitong age, na maging ano siya, may significance siya sa, or may value siya sa, sa school, sa community. That's why then I think I really pursued ano, billiards because I find it very challenging and it's very complex as well. I, I learn a lot about the sport and I, most of all I learn a lot about myself as well. I've been competing, I've been representing the country for 14 years already. And I could honestly say na the best ang ano, Pinoy crowd. Kasi ang maganda dun, aside from competing here, pag nasa ibang bansa ka, maraming Pinoy, di ba? <laughs> so kapag ka nasa ibang bansa ka, represented din. So they really cheer for you also. I want to be able to somehow give back. If five years from now, I would want to be able to give back, to inspire, to inspire uh, like young young ones or even those who are medyo not so young, na nagsa-struggle. I just want them to know na ganun talaga, it, it happens. And if you want to if you want to learn, if you want to grow, kaya yun. Kumbaga, you just have to work hard. What motivates me to enter public service is the LGBT community themselves. Sabi ko, transgender woman is capable of government service, of government work. Now, without compromising my physical, my physicality, hindi niyo ako gugupitan, hindi niyo ako paggagawing panlalaki. Ang pinaka siguro fulfilling na part ng pagiging kontesera ko for almost three de decades na is I sent my siblings to school, um, I support myself, and I supported my mother. For me, the best part of being a beauty queen first is that pinapalakpakan ka sa intablado ng mga tao na usually pag naglakad ka lang sakali ay nilalait ka. In 2006, nung magsimula mag-shoot yung Trans Pinay eyewitness segment ko, so sabi ko, kagnitin ko nga ang word na Trans Pinay. So, Trans Pinay, so, parang maganda siya ang gawing tao. Trans Pinay of Antipolo Organization. So, tao, parang wow, catchy. Ginawa ko yon para lang may sandalan ang mga LGBT, ang mga especially transgender women dito sa Antipolo City para may masabi silang bahay nila, para may masabi sila na kakampi nila, kapamilya nila, kapuso, kasangga, lahat na. Best part of being a teacher, seeing a student or a non-dancer transformed into a solid, strong, and remarkable dancer. Parang for me, parang, oh, parang nilagay ko lang dyan, binigyan ng program, tapos pagdating, yun na siya. Parang for me, yun yung pinaka, <laughs> lubutan ako, yun yung pinaka, ano talaga for me, na like, uh, I was very successful in that particular aspect. For me, my biggest achievement is apart from ano, winning sa pool. It's it's I think the ano the result of it. Because when when I was able to ano to somehow win and have ano and have prize money ganyan, I was able to help the family. Yung part na I'm able to inspire other people. Sige, that's one of my one of the things that ano I'm proud of. Social works feeding programs, livelihood projects, ano na lang yan eh, supplementary na lang, next online na lang. Pero para magkaroon ng mukha ang transgender dito sa Pilipinas or dito na lang sa Antipolo City, that is already a greatest achievement for me. Pride for me is being able to master my craft and contribute to my community. For me, it's, it's all about mindset. Now, winning, winning mindset or losing mindset, 
if you put yourself in a position thinking na since I'm part of the LGBT community, wanting to bring honor to the country, but then iniisip mo, may kulang, or I'm not enough, or may something wrong sa akin. And then you put yourself in that, in a position wherein you're doubting. Siguro, just to go out there and know that since your intention is good, na you are complete, you are enough. And that regardless of, nga, regardless kung LGBT man or kung, uh, kung ano man ang preference. You being yourself is already a pride and who you are and what you are should be celebrated every day. That for me is a pride. For a better Philippines, I think we should assert in our rights. For knowing our rights, we can do a lot of things. We can walk the extra mile and contribute, contribute something significant. What could help uh, LGBT athletes in performing our best in representing the country, I think would really be your support and your love uh, na kaya namin, kaya namin to be able to bring honor and uh, to win medals. Na we're not different from any other athlete. We're just an athlete wanting to give honor to the country. Giving us and supporting us with your equal rights and equal privileges and giving us equal opportunities will not lessen your opportunity and lessen your right. And by doing that, I believe that we will have a great, beautiful, vibrant, and colorful Philippines in the future.